Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Sleepy Joe. He's getting it from all ends, now from John Fetterman. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. The Biden administration has spoken to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and pledged their ironclad support after Iran attacked Israel on Saturday night into Sunday. Ironclad support, folks, but those are words, and words are hollow, because Biden also said he will not assist with a response, a military response against Iran, and asked Iran, or asked Israel rather, to stand down, to let the, to show restraint. And I have a question. Why is Israel the only country that the day after their attack, that happened on October 7th, Happened again just last night. The day after they're attacked, they're the ones being told to show restraint. If Israel didn't show restraint, Gaza wouldn't exist and neither would Iran. It's time for Israel to stop showing restraint and start showing force to defend its people the same way we would, the same way Britain would, Canada would, France would, anybody else would. How dare anybody ask another country to show restraint after their people are attacked living in fear? John Fetterman, he's had enough of it. And he stands firmly against the president on this issue. I want you to watch what he has to say. This is just breaking. So take a look at it and let me know what you think. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. And welcome back to this expanded uh, live edition of State of the Union. I'm Jake Tapper. Quote, together we shall win. That is the message from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in his very first public comments hours after Iran aimed hundreds of missiles and drones at Israel in an unprecedented attack. Joining us now to discuss Democratic Senator John Fetterman from the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, Senator, what is your reaction to Iran's attack on Israel and how worried are you that this is the beginning of an open war between the two countries? Well, it, a couple of things, actually. I think it really demonstrates how it's astonishing that we are not uh, standing firmly with Israel, and there should never be any kinds of conditions on all of that. When a nation can launch hundreds of drones uh, towards Israel, and I'm not going to be talking about conditions ever. And second, I, I think that also was Iran had to have some fireworks after Israel uh, smoked that Iranian uh, general, and, and I, I'm here for that. <laughs> uh, and I think it's just a matter of theater part of it as well, too. And it, finally, it demonstrates how unstable things are and why we need to lean in and stand with Israel. How do you think Israel should respond? Should Israel strike within Iranian territory, or are you concerned that that might only escalate matters further? Well, I'm, I'm not going to uh, suggest that what Israel should or shouldn't do on that. But I also do think that Iran is pleased with, they have enough of money on the table with all of its proxies all around in the region as well, too. And Iran certainly can't take on Israel, uh, and certainly not us. So I think they would just like to keep things as they go. And then after they made a point uh, back, I, I think they could go pretty quiet and go back to just using their proxies. A senior administration official tells CNN that, that President Biden told Prime Minister Netanyahu that the U.S. will not participate in any offensive operations against Iran. Do you think that's the right call uh, or should direct U.S. military action, as some of your colleagues in the Senate are suggesting, uh, should that be on the table?